Hi everybody. Today I wanted to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me rather than just teach yoga or Pilates or fascia release work. Because I think the backstory about a person is very, very interesting to give depth and perception to who this person is and what they're all about. I was married to Bob Carrero, my sweet husband, for 13 years, and he passed away um, three years ago, actually just before COVID hit, three weeks before he passed away. And after he died, I got so many stories about him. I found out so much about his life and who he was and things that actually filled in a puzzle that I never even knew, even though I was married to him and we really had a lovely relationship. As an example, I always knew that he had an arm that didn't straighten properly and he was a gymnast and he never really, he just went and said I broke it, it was never set properly. Well, I found out that when he was young, he had a really bad relationship with his father, which he sort of mentioned. And he was so angry one day as a very young kid, he jumped out of a, the window of a second story building, fell improperly, broke his elbow, never got it set properly, and basically lived with a bent elbow, which blocked him from becoming a top internationally known gymnast, which was the dream of his life. And uh, because he got disqualified because he couldn't straighten the elbow. And many, many, many other stories like that came through that I never knew about, I never heard about. It gave me such a depth of perception about who he was and what drove him, what he was about. And I would like to share some of who I am because it's just interesting. I mean, I love to know about who a person is. And I have always been known as a yoga and a Pilates teacher, sometimes personal growth, sometimes fascia release work. But I kind of wince when people describe me like that because that isn't who I really am. And I really think that I, I love to crack codes and mysteries and kind of figure out the underlying driver of why there is a problem. And I like to use this with people, but the real motivation was me. I had to crack my code. I had to figure out why I had a certain personality type, why I was withdrawn, why I had certain injuries in my own body that kept me from fulfilling certain dreams I had. I wanted to be a ballet dancer when I was young and I had so much pain and so much trouble and I abused my body rather stupidly and violently in a desperate attempt to achieve a goal that I never fulfilled because I really had the wrong skill set to do it. And it's taken me a lifetime to biohack and crack and figure out why was this happening? What can I do about it? That's more important than why. What? How can I change this condition? How can I undo damage? And uh, many times in the different worlds, as I really love moving and bodies, I found that if I just did what I was told, it wasn't good enough. I wanted to develop my calves and I do calf raises and, I'm, and then I'd tear my Achilles. I de do things to strengthen my core, my stomach, and I get back pain, but I didn't fire my stomach muscles. So a lot, this happens to many of us, probably all of us actually, because we're each unique and we each have a unique, um, how we're put together. We really are, each of us a unique code. And how do we crack this code in multifaceted ways fascinates me and really is so interesting because every time you crack a code and you see that you up level, it's like this big, big victory. And I'm 67 and I have osteoarthritis in my left hip. And for quite a long time, I never wanted to mention it because I was fit and people saw me as a kind of vibrant person, but actually I couldn't do very much anymore. And I was in a lot of pain and it took me a while to say, I can't keep hiding this. And basically I could feel myself pulling back from life. I have to take this as a vast opportunity to grow. And when I started to confess to my students my conditions, I felt like a gay person coming out of the closet and saying, by the way, 
I'm fucked up. Something's wrong. It's not my body isn't working the way I it used to and I have a problem I have not figured out what to do about. A basic basic belief system I have is that the body wants to heal. The body always wants to up level and upgrade as do each one of us in every aspect of our lives. And again, it comes back to how do we crack this code? How do we find our own way? And my own personal healing journey has been a fascinating exploration of a plethora of different modalities to up level health, vitality, and to be honest, they apply across the spectrum of life. You really don't need to have osteoarthritis in your left hip in order to use these hacks, but you need to want to improve yourself. The older we get, the more we've accumulated life. This is one of my belief systems. We accumulated life and we accumulate trauma and challenges. Now on the other side of that, we also accumulate wisdom and knowledge and a depth of comprehension of potential. We're kind of becoming a more complex computer if we keep tweaking the machine. And you can tweak the machine at any age. It doesn't matter. So my philosophy is you can uptrend at any stage. Any time in your life, you can raise the bar and you can increase your sense of well-being, your happiness, your energy, your vibrancy. And it's better to start now, don't wait, then you're really fucked up because it's a bigger, steeper ride up, but it's still a possibility. So I decided that I would like to be sharing a lot of my hacks and my protocols with you over the next weeks. I'm going to be posting at least twice a week on social media different things that I do in my life, things I've discovered that work for me and sometimes for my clients as well because I have a big library of, um, you know, hacks. And um, I would love to hear from you as well. Like, what are your blocks? What are your problems? Um, where are you stuck? Because that kind of turns me on and makes me want to jump in there and figure it out. And it's always teamwork. It's never alone that you figure things out. So I look forward to hearing from you. If you wanted to know more about me, my website is www.niedragabrielle.com. And that's it. Now you know a little bit about me. There's more to come. <laughs>